in your previous uh, trials with this judge, had, had you ever gotten brazen with him before? <laughs> <laughs> I just had to ask. <laughs> I didn't admit it in this case because to me, what I've heard in this trial, and by the way, Mr. Richards absolutely correctly points out that just hours ago, I said I had heard nothing in this trial to change any of my rulings. That was so the why? Testimony, Your Honor. Pardon me. That was before the Don't testimony. Don't get brazen with me. Uh, uh, you knew very well. You know very well that an attorney can't go into these types of areas when the judge has already ruled without asking outside the presence of the jury to do so. So don't give me that. That's number one. Number two, this is propensity evidence. I said at the time that I made my ruling, and I'll repeat again now for you, I see no similarity between talking about wishing you had your AR gun, which you don't have, <laughs> so that you could take fire rounds at these uh, thought to be shoplifters. <laughs> Uh, uh, absolutely. Um, I'm not at the point in my career where I, um, I, uh, I butter people up. Um, and that's the way to success in some places. Um, you have to kiss the ring. You have to kowtow to their every whim. Um, you have to play that game. And there are people who do that, and they're really good at it. I've never been good at it. I've never been comfortable with it. And at this stage in my life, I, I just don't, I just don't care. I just don't feel like it. That's not who I am. And I'm not going to pretend to be something I'm not. Um, so, you know, I was in his court for two years. We butted heads regularly. Um, and there were times in which we were, you know, very upset with one another and critical of one another. And, and I pushed back at him and he would do his thing to me. And I think, I'd like to think that he understands that I'm doing my job. It's not personal um, that outside of that, we can go have a drink. We can talk about the brewers. We can talk about whatever. And it's all it's all good. Um, but I have a job to do. I take it seriously. Um, I feel personally like I have a certain ethics, a certain integrity, a certain responsibility. And I'm not going to just take the fall for other people, you know. Yeah. One of the things that Judge Schrader likes to do is he likes to make the DA in court the poster child for everything that's wrong with our office or what he likes to call promiscuous plea bargaining, you know, the way that our criminal justice system works. And so he'll place that all at the feet of the, the prosecutor in court as if it's that person's fault, that the whole system is the way it is. And I'm not going to, I'm not going to play that game. Um, you want to talk to me about what I've done, what I did in that case, the complaint I drafted, the plea bargain I offered, the way I tried that case, fair game. Absolutely. You come at me, I will talk about what I've done. You can criticize me. I'll respond. We can have that discussion all day long. Mm -hmm. I'm perfectly willing to accept responsibility for anything I've done. But what I'm not going to do is sit here and let you lay at my feet the blame for something somebody else in our office did. You got a problem with them? Go call them. You got a problem with my boss? Here's his number. Go give him a call. I'm yeah. not the head of the office. So I'm not responsible for 17 other people. I'm responsible for myself. Um, so that's that's the way I see things. Um, and uh, so I would push back, you know, when Judge Schrader would try and make me the whipping boy for everything that was wrong with whatever, I I wouldn't, I, I'd get brazen. <laughs> and... Uh, you know, sometimes so, that uh, sometimes you got to do that. Uh, it didn't always play well because he doesn't like that. And uh, well, you know what? I, I get to talk to. It's it's not. Mm -hmm. This isn't the Inquisition. Um, it's a courtroom of law, and I have a pl I have a place, and I have I have things to say, and I'm allowed to say them. So you got to yeah. give me my opportunity. Um, yeah. So that's the way I see it.